Theme, Research and Awareness, Unit, My Maths. Okay, so you can see that I'm still logged in as dbs5 at dubaibridgeschool.ae. And what we're going to do now is each of us are going to log in as this user. And we're going to go and use Google Maps to find our house. Now, it can be your house in the United Arab Emirates, or it can be a house that maybe you own internationally, maybe in England or Australia or somewhere else around the world. Remember that all we need to know is the address of where our house is, okay? If you're not sure what the address is, and maybe you just know the town or the city, you can put that information in here, and then you can try and find your house once the map is loaded. Right, so I'm going to find my house. This is my house in England. So I'm typing in my address and it's giving me suggestions of where it might be. So Romsey Place, Mansfield, United Kingdom. I press on that and we've already seen that this is my house down here, so I'm just going to zoom in. Now once I've found my house, I know that it's here. What we're going to do next is we're going to access my maps, which is this. And what we're going to do is we're going to tag my house. We're going to put a little indicator on here that shows you that this is my house. Okay, so I'm going to press on my maps. Now if you want to watch this little video tutorial that pops up, you can. It goes into detail about how you can use Google Maps. I'm going to press the Get Started button. And you can see that three icons have popped up on my screen. This one's the Select and Edit Map Features. This one is the Add Place Marker. And this one allows me to draw different shapes on my maps. The one that's important is this one, the place marker. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that one. Oops. I'm going to click on that one, and I'm just going to place it in front of my house, which is this one here. I'm just going to put it there, like that. Now then, once I've done that, I've got two screens here. One on the left that says title and description, and one on the right that says title and description. Now then, before we fill in the one on the right, we're going to fill the one in on the left. And what we're going to do here is it's very important that for the title we put our own names. The reason for that is because we're all going to be tagging our own houses using the same account. So unless we state here that this is my house with my name on it, we'll get confused as to whose is whose. So I'm going to put Mr. Wood's house. In this description box here, I'm just going to put a very short description, a short description about what this tag shows. I'm just going to put, this is my house in England. Okay, so, so that's a short description. Now the next bit is very important, okay? Extremely important. And it's this bit down here that says public or unlisted. It is vital that you tick the unlisted button like this, okay? If we kept the public button ticked, that means that anybody can see our tag. So anyone on the internet can search for our tag. And that's dangerous because people will be able to see where we live. So if we tick the unlisted box, only the people that are logged into this account at the top are able to see these tags. So make sure that you all tick the unlisted box. Okay? Now once I've done that, I'm going to then, in this box, type a title as well. And again, I'm going to put my name, Mr. Woods House. You'll see the difference between these two later. Now what you need to do is you need to write a short description in here about your house. Now I want you to approach this in either two ways. One, your description can be about your house and the area in which you live. The description must be at least five lines long. You can either do that, or you can write in the description box here a short story about an event that might have taken place in your house or in the area that you live. So it might be a funny story. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write my story. There we go. And then once I've done that, I'm going to press OK. Oh, before I do, I'm just going to change this little icon up here. I'm going to click on it, and I want an icon of a house like that and then I'm going to press OK and you can see here now that I've been tagged my house is tagged if I click on my house it brings up a description of it press OK press save press done and that's your house tagged 